Minimalism has been a part of my life for a few years now. And as a result, there's a number of things I've stopped buying. So here's a list of them, starting off with bottled water. I have reusable bottles, which I just fill up wherever I go. So I always have water with me and I don't have to buy those single use plastic water bottles when I get thirsty. Another thing that I stopped buying was television sets. So the last TV set that I had was a Sonia, Sony, Sonia, <laughs> was a Sony Bravia. That was the last TV that I had. And right alongside that is physical media. So I stopped buying DVDs, VHS tapes, and <laughs> cassette tapes and CDs. So obviously half of those I stopped buying a long time ago because they stopped selling them at the stores. I also had a very large collection, I think of over 400 DVDs. I am a film buff. I'm a movie person. I worked in the film industry for many years. So I had a very large collection of DVDs. Don't buy those anymore. Stationery. So I never really was one of those people who just bought a lot of stationery, but I do like stickers and I love notebooks. I love working with pen and paper, but I have created a set of rules for myself to limit the kind of notebooks that I can buy because that way I don't go overboard and buy a bunch of notebooks that I never use and then just accumulate. Plastic bags, Ziploc bags, sandwich bags, whatever you call them. I love snacks. I just use these reusable bags that I bought and I wash them and then that's it. I just reuse them. That's the end. That's the tweet or the X. I don't know. Single use kitchen gadgets. If the thing doesn't do multiple things and I don't want it in my kitchen. I saw this avocado slicer thing once and I was like, wow, that is the end of the road here of things that nobody needs yet somehow has become a product. I truly admire all of the people who wear makeup and love their colors and are true artists of the skin and the face and the body. Um, I'm not one of those people. I prefer a very minimal look. I like a very sophisticated, timeless and uh, no makeup makeup look. And so I do like my little blush. I like a little bit of lipstick. I like a little bit of eyeliner. And so I keep it very minimal. And because of that, my makeup lasts for a pretty long time, especially because I focus on buying high quality makeup so so that it, it does last me a long time and is good for my skin and yada yada. I don't really buy new tech anymore. I don't upgrade very often. I am still on the iPhone 13 Pro and I will say that my most viewed video to this date is on my iPhone 13 Pro. Not filmed with it. I mean it's just it's about my iPhone 13 Pro. I love tech. I'm a huge like tech geek. I love computers. I love cameras. I love the phones and the little gadgets. I like little robots. I love all of that stuff. I just don't feel like I need to fill up my entire house or my office with all of those things. And I certainly don't need to upgrade every three or six months. Accessories like jewelry and things like that. You've probably already noticed that I don't really wear a lot of that stuff. I do have my scrunchie. That's an accessory, right? Uh, I did buy this Baby G watch and the reason is because I was feeling 90s and I'm still feeling 90s. So when I do buy jewelry, it's usually when I'm traveling and it is because it's handmade or something special. It spices up my outfit a little bit because people are like, oh, where'd you get that necklace from? Where'd you get that bracelet from? And it sparks this conversation because it's not something that you can just find at any store. I like doing that. I like, I like to do that. And then I also like to support local artists and people who are handcrafting jewelry because I have no idea how to do that. Traveling is one of the most fulfilling things that any human can do in their life. So if you would like to travel down the path of self-improvement and self-actualization and upgrade your life, subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any videos where I help you do just that. You see what I did there? You see that? Moving on to the next thing. 
clothes. So I currently have a minimalist wardrobe. I created a color palette. This helps me to not buy more clothes than I really need. Souvenirs. So magnets, trinkets, anything like that. I do a lot of traveling. If you aren't aware, I also have a travel channel here on YouTube and I prefer to take photos and videos to keep as memories of the places that I've been to. This is an interesting one because I have my workshops and my courses that I provide. So it's, <laughs> I don't buy courses or workshops or anything like that um, online or in person. I just don't, I don't do the courses thing anymore. Unless it's something that I'm working on specifically, like for example, uh, I'm currently taking masterclass with Gordon Ramsay and that is something that is intentional because I'm always trying to improve my culinary skills. I used to buy smoothies all the time and then I learned that I could easily make it at home. I bought this little blender from Muji and well actually correction my mom bought the blender and then I stole it from her but so now that I make them at home, I don't really buy them. No, I, I do wear shoes, even though I'm not wearing shoes right now, but I do wear shoes. I just don't buy new shoes. A number of years ago, I got rid of almost all of my shoes when I started my minimalist journey. And I decided to only buy the shoes that I knew I would need, the types of shoes like sneakers, sandals, high heels, etc. So I had a very small amount of shoes and then for some reason, K-Swiss decided to start sending me shoes. And so now I have a lot of sneakers. I found myself having these shoes, which I did not buy, but still I take very good care of them. And so they have lasted me for a long time. I generally try to clean my shoes after every use, like at the end of the day, I'll just wipe them down before I put them away. This just helps to keep them clean and make sure that they last me for a long time. Phone cases. I used to think that my identity was tied to whatever I was showcasing to the world. <laughs> and so whenever I saw a cute little case or like something that represented a thing that I was a fan of or that I loved, then I would put it on my, on my phone case. Like I would buy that phone case. The case that I currently have is from Nomad and I like it because it has a little wristband thing, which is really great for traveling because I do use my phone for filming sometimes when I'm traveling. I was at a book fair when I was presenting my book of poetry when I was, I think I was 15 or 16 years old. I was at this book fair and I remember I got hungry. And so I left my booth and the only thing that was nearby was this fast food place, which will remain unnamed because I don't like trashing other companies, but I had a horrible experience I realized that the food I was eating was just, it was not real. <laughs> so uh, it left a bad taste in my mouth, no pun intended, or maybe there is a pun, I don't know. I don't, I don't buy fast food anymore. It forced me to eat better, to be more intentional with the things that I'm putting in my body. The thing about fast food is that it's convenient, right? And I don't want that. I want to be patient. I want to practice patience. I want to be able to appreciate the time that it took to prepare the meal that I'm going to consume. I want to enjoy it because I love food. You can't even see them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I stopped getting my eyebrows professionally done because I just learned how to do it myself. I try to keep them pretty natural. They're fairly easy to maintain. I stopped paying other people to pull the hairs out for me. I stopped buying toxic cleaning products and I bought this reusable spray bottle and there's this brand that has these refills and so I just refill the glass spray bottle. Don't get it twisted, I still moisturize, but I use rosehip oil. It's 100% rosehip oil. It's great because I'm pretty sure that in the past I used to over moisturize because everyone says moisturize, 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 right? It's like a thing, but this is a lesson in minimalism. Less is more sometimes. 
less is more. I have eliminated a lot of apps and a lot of software and subscriptions and all that stuff. And in that culling process, I realized that there's a lot of things that I don't really need. I really like this one a lot because this next item is peanut butter. I haven't bought peanut butter in years because I make my own. And first of all, it's so much fun. It tastes good. It's fresh. And I can make it as salty or as sweet as I want it to be. I love, I love food, guys. Now, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I have a ton of backpacks. I work remotely, so I go to cafes. I come to the office. I have film gear. I film when I travel. And so having the appropriate bag for that is actually challenging <laughs> to to find. So in 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 trying to find that backpack, you know, you go through a process of buying a couple of them. I don't buy purses, I don't buy bags, I don't I don't buy that sort of thing. I have only bought the purses that I need. So I think I only have three purses. You can only use one purse at a time. <laughs> Why am I gonna have multiple purses in my closet if I can only use one? Here's another one that I really love, cookies. You probably guessed it. I make my own cookies too. <laughs> I still, I buy little like tea, tea biscuits. I don't buy like chocolate chip cookies or anything like that. Decorative bed pillows are not your friend. I used to have a number of pillows on my bed. These are not pillows that I was sleeping with, okay? And the reason that I had them was just because that was the trend and that was the thing. And, and I believed that that was good style. I thought that was home decor. And don't get me wrong, if you have a bunch of pillows on your bed and you love it, then power to you. I don't wanna be one of those people that gets to the end of their life and does the math and is like, oh yeah, I spent 56,000 hours of my life putting pillows on beds. The last thing on my list is shaving cream. I realized I didn't really need it. I exfoliate, I soap, I lather, and shaving cream was just an added thing, was another bottle that I needed to have in my shower and that stressed me out. So the goal here isn't to list off a hundred things, but rather to make sure that we are intentional with the things that we do buy and add into our lives. I mean, I still buy stuff all the time. And here's actually a video of the things that I've bought that I feel have improved my life. So yeah, I still wanna buy things, but I focus more on buying the things that will give me good memories, that will be useful, things that make me happy, like spending time with friends and family. And of course, spending time with you here on YouTube. So if you enjoyed this video, then please give me a thumbs up to let me know. For now, I'm gonna go. So I will see you when I see you. You're still here? Sorry. Sorry about that. Thank you.